uh, meet Peaches. Peaches is a cockatoo who's 23 years old. And this morning, our Pet Talk Tuesday segment is going to be with Dr. Rich Bordeaux, who owns Peaches. He's back to help us keep our fine feathered friends healthy. And Dustin is joining us in just a second. Dustin's got today's, uh, this week's most adoptable pet from the Buffalo Animal Shelter. Welcome, Dustin. Thank you for having me. Who do you have today? I have Rico. He's Move in a little bit. Sure. <laughs> there the we go. Terrier mix. Oh. Recently surrendered to the shelter when his owner could no longer keep him. Rico. Rico. So Rico is full grown, ready to go, used to being yes. in a home. And he's neutered and ready to go home today. Oh. Uh, nice dog, makes a great companion. He's a terrier, so he's still got plenty of energy. He's very spunky, mm -hmm. even though he's a little older. Mm -hmm. um, probably best in the home, older kids. Um, like I said, real nice dog, very happy-go-lucky. Right. Interesting curiosity. <laughs> Terriers are a breed of their own. So. Yeah, he'll make your home his home very exactly. shortly, right? He's very cute. Well, Peaches sounds like she's got something, he's got something to say about that. I'm hearing a little noise from him. Uh, Dustin, this is Peaches, Dr. Rich Bordeaux, who is here. And Peaches has been owned by the doc since the doc was 14. Wow. And what we're gonna do is talk about uh, pro behavioral problems, I guess, with birds. And if you notice real carefully, it's almost really hard to pick out. Peaches here has a pink vest on that matches his foliage oh, wow. perfectly. <laughs> and also a neck collar, because you were saying, doc, that birds like this tend to pick at their feathers? Absolutely. Yeah. So they're really cool birds. You know, obviously they're very cuddly and that's why people fall in love with them. Unfortunately, we often trim their wings, we put them in cages, and so it leads to problems like picking at their feathers mm -hmm. um, or picking at their skin. Mm -hmm. um, we really, there's many different yeah. factors. <laughs> There's many different factors that can cause it, but one of the most prominent um, cause at, uh, these days is not being able to fly. Uh -huh. So they get osteoporosis, just uh -huh. like older people do, from not using those wings and not using those bones. Right. So it causes pain and then they mutilate or pluck. So wow. the ideal thing is keeping these birds busy mm -hmm. if they're not able to fly. Uh, we need to make them exercise in other ways. Cargo nets. Um, they've got to. They've right. got to work. They've got to work for their food. Mm -hmm. They spend about 60% of their time in the wild just looking for food. In captivity, we'll often put a food bowl right beside the perch, right. and all they do is lean yeah. over. Right. Uh, so they're not getting the exercise they need. And a lot of these birds are only living about a third or half of their lifespan that we know that they can live. Well, Peaches is 23, and what is Peaches' normal lifespan in an uh, ideal world? In an ideal world 80 to 100 or wow. more. Wow. Yeah. Where are they native from? These guys are from above Australia in oh. Indonesia. Wow. Yeah. I was telling uh, the doc how great it was while we were in Costa Rica to see colorful tropical birds in the wild it, there's flying nothing, in the trees. Nothing like it, yeah. especially if you see them in cages and then right. you see them in the wild. Right. So what do you do to keep peaches motivated and, and, and interested and to keep him from plucking his, his feathers? So we obviously haven't fixed him because he's still wearing his vest right but we do keep him busy make him forage for food put things in in paper put them in boxes give him two by fours uh -huh. which he'll shred in a matter of days <laughs> replace those two by fours as often as necessary, and we're learning to fly. So if we can get him flying and I can get a big aviary for him, I think that these can permanently come off wow, one day. Do they do better with a yeah. companion bird? Or Absolutely. No? They do? Yeah. So you may, may you get another, might you, or? If I had a big aviary, yeah. they could fly Look together. Look for cockatoo daycare, right? <laughs> yeah. Like you can bring your bird and. That would be awesome, <laughs> right? That would be awesome. <laughs> yeah. Like we do with our, with our dogs. That's fantastic. Exactly. Yeah. If this is a, such a beautiful bird. Is that coloration uh, uncommon? This is how this particular species of cockatoo, Moluccan cockatoos, this is how they look. Wow. So they've got that beautiful. orange and the pink. Are they, in, are they rare in any, uh, any shape or form? They're um, near th extinction in the wild. Oh. So I think there's 17,000 of them left in the wild, uh -huh. they think. They're not really sure. In captivity, especially in the United States, we do have a lot of these guys because of their longevity and because of their problems. Right. So this is one of their big problems, feather destruction. But they can also get very jealous um, because they get so close to somebody. Sure. They can get very jealous of the person's actual mate. Wow. wow. Oh, interesting. W would it still be possible to mate peaches? 
Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So and, and so you never know. I mean, with such a long lifespan, that could happen. It, it could. It in ten years, you know. I mean, it's amazing. <laughs> I'm not looking to make right. any more at this point. <laughs> well, you never know who's watching. <laughs> There's a lot of these guys that are looking for homes because they're so difficult to take care of. It's so I often don't feel adequate. Are there a lot of reputable rescue groups for these birds? There are in some degree, but because once again they're so long lived, mm -hmm. often whoever runs the rescue passes away. They yeah. don't have plans. They don't have. Yeah, I understand. You have to. You should put them in your will. Absolutely. About who's going to. You I've know. got him in my living right. will. When you say they're difficult to take care of, in what ways? They're so needy, and and like uh, he mentioned, it's the lack of the flock. Mm -hmm. You know, we have to go to work. Right. You know. Right. Um, we have to have companions. Um, and they don't have the flight. Mm -hmm. So it, you, you're constantly trying to find ways to make up from them not being in the wild. Right. In the wild, they'll fly miles and yeah. miles and well, miles a yeah. day. Well, now, now, and Peaches is not tempted to take off now? I mean, He's not, we're not to that level of flight yet. I see, yeah, I see. Yeah, we're, we're still working on it. Wow, well, Peaches is beautiful, and hopefully you will it have is. him for many, many years to come. Absolutely. And uh, it'll be interesting um, to know how many, actually, how many cockatoos cockatoos we might have here in western New York, but you can certainly be an expert if people are looking to have their bird taken care of, Dr. Birdo, which I love your <laughs> last name. Absolutely. So, it's very important to, to find an avian veterinarian and go yearly. Uh -huh. and, and it's not just to generate income for us. Um, it's for us to keep you encouraged. Right. So, you know, if if you're doing everything you think you can, we might have an extra tip that, that makes them a little bit happier. Right, well, that's a great idea. Well, now you know, Dr. Rich Bordeaux is in the area, and people can find you where, Doc? Um, in Clarence, okay. we're 716-759-0144. Uh, okay, and Bordeaux, B-U-R-D-E-A-U-X. That's it. Correct? Yes, All right. And Rico is waiting for you over at the Buffalo Animal Among Shelter. many others. He is ready to go, he's been neutered, and he's just an awesome little dog. Well, uh, among many others that you have over there at the shelter. So please, by all means, folks, with the weather getting nice, get out and walk a dog, and even if you adopt a new one. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Rich, for being here. Dr. Thank Bordeaux, you. thank you. Dustin, and we also want to thank the Niagara Veterinary Society for making these segments possible.